there, Hoka One One Athlete Sage Canada here. I'm joined by Hoka Ambassador Mire, and today we're going to talk about the Gaviota 2. What do you look for in a road shoe? Um, well, usually I like to look at the design first because I want to look good when I'm running, but also how it fits on my foot. So I want some stability, I want to feel like I'm in control when I'm running, and I just want it to be a comfortable ride. The Hoka Gaviota 2 is a premium stability shoe. It's great for those everyday runs and it provides a lot of extra cushion and support for those longer run efforts. Both the men's and women's version of the Gaviota 2 have a 5mm offset. The men's version goes from a 29mm stack height in the heel down to a 24mm stack height in the forefoot. The women's version goes from a 27mm stack height in the heel down to a 22mm stack height in the forefoot. The men's Gaviota weighs 10.6 ounces or 301 grams. The women's version of the Gaviota weighs 8.8 .8 ounces or 249 grams. Hoka has improved the upper design of the Gaviota too and it's a lot more breathable and provides a more accommodating fit. The Gaviota 2 features Hoka's J-Frame technology which is a higher density foam in areas where you really need it on the inside of your foot and on the heel. You can really feel that support when you run in it. The outsole features strategically placed rubber, which strikes a good balance between durability and weight. Overall, the Gaviota 2 is a great stability option for an extra soft, plush ride. Mire, you've been running in the Gaviota series for a while. What do you think about the new Gaviota 2? I like how it made my feet feel kind of snug without making it too tight when I'm running, and I really enjoyed how I felt supported from like heel to toe with each stride, so I think that was pretty awesome. How do you see yourself using the Gaviota? So I definitely think I'd be using this on the road, definitely um, in my marathon training. Um, having that breathability and support, it's going to be really important when you're going the distance and you're just kind of pounding the pavement. So having that control and breathability, all that stability in the shoe can make it for a really great run. Well, thanks for joining me on the run today and good luck with your training and future. Everyone, Hoka One One Athlete Sage Canada here. I'm joined with Ambassador Jacqueline and we're going to talk about the Hoka Challenger ATR5. Jacqueline, what do you look for in a trail shoe? I want to make sure that I have enough traction on the bottom of the shoe so I feel secure going up the trail. I really enjoy a large enough toe box, especially when I'm going downhill on the trail. I want to have some movement and wiggle room in my toes. Both the men's and women's version of the Challenger ATR5 have a 5mm offset. The men's version goes from a 29mm stack height in the heel down to a 24mm stack height in the forefoot. The women's version goes from a 27mm stack height in the heel down to a 22mm stack height in the forefoot. The men's version weighs 9.4 ounces or 266 grams. The women's version weighs 7.7 .7 ounces or 218 grams. The Challenger 5 is an all-terrain shoe. It's extremely versatile and great for transitioning from trails to roads. It also is extremely lightweight for how much cushion it provides. The ATR5 features an updated upper, which is a lot more durable, and it even has this protective toe cap, which helps keep debris out. It also features a widened midfoot for a more accommodating fit. There's also been a major update to the outsole design. The lugs are broader, but more closely spaced, which helps provide a seamless transition between the trail and the roads. Overall, the Challenger ATR5 is an extremely versatile shoe for both roads and trails. Can I check them out? Jacqueline, how'd you feel about the Challenger ATR out on the run today? I really loved how roomy they are in the front of the toe box area. I have long toes, so especially when I'm going downhill on trails, I like that my toes can have some movements in them. They're really light and they were great on the road. I felt like I wasn't wearing anything, but I felt stable still. What's up everyone? Hoka One One Athlete Sage Canada here. I'm joined by Hoka Aggies Athlete Reese Byers, who runs the 5K in 1358. Today we're going to talk about the all-new Arahi 3 from Hoka. Sounds good. 
Reese, how long have you been running in the Rahi series? I've been running in the Rahi series for about two, three years now. I really like its combination of responsiveness and cushioning. And I love the Rahi 2 and I'm looking forward to checking out the Rahi 3. Do you mind if I check it out? The Rahi 3 is a great update to one of Poka's best-selling stability models. It's a soft, smooth, and nimble shoe that provides a lot of support and stability for when you're logging big miles out on the road. So what do you think? Well, let's take it out for a run. Both the men's and women's version of the Rahi 3 have a 5mm offset. The men's version goes from a 29mm stack height in the heel down to a 24mm stack height in the forefoot. The women's version goes from a 27mm stack height in the heel down to a 22mm stack height in the forefoot. The men's Arahi 3 weighs 9.6 ounces or 272 grams. The women's version weighs 8.0 ounces or 227 grams. The upper has a completely new design. Poka has made the material more breathable and it's also a sleeker look. The Rahi 3 is a stability shoe and it utilizes Hoka's J-Frame technology, which is a firmer density foam that runs throughout the midsole in this J-shape that provides extra support in the heel as well as the inside of your foot. The outsole features strategically placed rubber in places only where you need it, which helps minimize the weight. Overall, the Arahi 3 is a great stability model that provides a nice smooth ride in a lightweight package. Chrissy, what did you think about the newest version of the Rahi? It was great. I liked it. Um, I love the J frame that kept the foot stable throughout the run, and it had that smooth through one. Hoka One One athlete Sage Canada here. I'm lucky enough to be joined by 102 half marathon runner Ben Bruce, and today we're going to talk about the Clifton Six. Ben, what's your experience in the Clifton series? I've run in the Clifton 5 a lot. I uh, really like it. It's a great everyday shoe that I put a lot of miles on. Uh, it holds up well, and uh, I'm really looking forward to trying the 6. Can I take a look? So both the men's and women's version of the Clifton 6 have a 5mm offset. The men's version goes from a stack height of 29mm in the heel down to a 24mm stack height in the forefoot. The women's version goes from a 27mm stack height in the heel down to a 22mm stack height in the forefoot. The men's shoe weighs 9 ounces or 255 grams. The women's version weighs 7.4 ounces or 209 grams. The next evolution in the award-winning Clifton franchise, the 6 builds on what's made the Clifton such a great series. It has a soft, smooth, and cushioned ride. Engineered to deliver a smoother ride and a more comfortable fit, the 6 features an embroidered design which helps lock down your foot without adding any extra weight. 11 grams lighter than its predecessor, the Clifton 6 offers a more accommodating arch as well as a more roomy forefoot. The Clifton is known for its cushioning and this model follows suit. The midsole foam offers a similar ride to the Clifton 5. It strikes a balance between cushion and resilience. The early stage Meta Rocker offers a smooth ride and the full compression EVA midsole offers that signature cushioning that Hoka fans have come to expect. Overall, the Clifton 6 is an approachable trainer for any road warrior, whether you're logging easy miles or looking to hit faster speeds. That was a great run. Thanks for showing me around Flagstaff. It was a nice tour. What did you think about the Clifton 6? I liked them. Uh, it's kind of what you come to expect of a Clifton. Take it out of the box, go on a run right away. It feels comfortable. Uh, so I really enjoyed it. So what did you think about the Clifton 6? I like how Krika One One athlete Sage Canada here. I'm joined by 229 marathoner Stephanie Bruce. And today we're going to talk about the all new Rincon. Stephanie, have you tried out the Rincon yet? I have not. I'm excited to give it a go. Can I try it? Both the men's and women's version of the Rincon have a 5mm offset. The men's version goes from a 29mm stack height in the heel down to a 24mm stack height in the forefoot. The women's version goes from a 26mm stack height in the heel down to a 21mm stack height in the forefoot. The men's Rincon weighs 7.7 .7 ounces or 218 grams. The women's version of the Rincon weighs 6.3 ounces or 179 grams. The Rincon is a great shoe for someone looking for a lightweight trainer that offers a soft and cushioned ride. Light and soft are key attributes here. Starting from the top, the Rincon features a single layer mesh upper that is stripped back to allow for breathability while remaining lightweight and supportive. The Rincon offers a performance oriented fit with a wider toe box, but still great lockdown in the forefoot and the heel. The midsole design is all about softness, but it allows you to move quickly. A full compression EVA midsole offers the signature cushioning that Hoka fans have come to expect. 
While the Rincon features the same stack height and cushioning as the Clifton, it is engineered with a different foam. It also has a modified rocker for a faster acceleration on tow-off. Utilizing a full ground contact design, the Rincon features strategic high abrasion rubber zones to help reduce weight. Overall, the Rincon provides a lightweight ride for everyday runs and also something you could really pick up the pace in. That was a great run, Stephanie. What were your first impressions of the Rincon? I really love the Rincon. They were lightweight, full of cushion, and I look forward to doing something a little bit faster paced in them. What did you think about the shoes? Hi there, Hoka One One athlete Sage Candidate here. Today we're gonna to talk about the Hoka Tivra. I'm lucky enough to be joined by Hoka influencer, Veronica Lombo, to help me explain it. The Tivra is built as a versatile cross trainer. It's designed for fast, quick movements, and all the design features have that in mind. The upper is super comfortable with TPU wings around the midfoot to help secure your foot. It also has a neoprene collar for comfort. The Tivra has a four millimeter offset with a stack height of 23 millimeters in the heel down to 19 millimeters in the forefoot. It weighs in at 7.7 .7 ounces or 218 grams. The midsole and outsole are constructed with rubberized foam for a nice responsive feel. It has a wider platform for traction and stability for side to side movements. All around it's a great versatile cross trainer for high intensity training, circuit training, box jumps and dynamic exercises. Let's go try out the shoe. So what kind of activities do you see yourself using the Tivra for? I see myself using the shoes for going from a yoga class to a fitness class to trying to catch the subway. The shoe feels supportive and stable, yet it's super lightweight. When I bounce around, I feel like I can jump forever and I know that I'll land on- Hi there, Hoka One One athlete Sage Canada here. Today we're gonna talk about the Hapana EM. I'm joined by Hoka athlete Megan Manzi, who runs the 1500 in 408. The Hapana EM is a great addition to the Hoka One One Hapana family. It's a very versatile shoe. It's definitely meant for the everyday athlete, from heading to the gym, to going out on casual jogs, or running errands around town. The Hapana EM has a five millimeter offset in both the men's and women's version. In the men's version, it goes from a 25 millimeter stack height in the heel, down to a 20 millimeter stack height in the forefoot. For the women's version, it goes from a 23 millimeter stack height in the heel down to an 18 millimeter stack height in the forefoot. The men's version weighs in at 7.9 ounces or 224 grams. The women's version weighs in at 6.5 ounces or 184 grams. The Hapana EM has a totally new upper made of engineered mesh for a lightweight and breathable design. The midsole and outsole are made of rubberized EVA, so you get a springy, resilient, and responsive ride. Let's go try it out. How do you see yourself using this shoe? I would say I use this shoe for everyday life, whether it's running errands, going to the gym, or even just walking around town. The shoe feels very breathable and smooth, is also lightweight and supportive. Hi there, Hoka One One athlete Sage Canada. Today we're going to talk about the Kabu 2 from Fly, and I'm joined by Hoka athlete Rob Napolitano, who runs a 1500 in 338. Let's get started. The Kabu 2 is a great, versatile trainer. It's an excellent shoe for those faster paced runs, logging everyday miles, or even going to the coffee shop or gym. The men's version of the Kabu 2 has a 5mm offset. It goes from a 23 millimeter stack height in the heel down to an 18 millimeter stack height in the forefoot. The women's version of the Kabu 2 has a five millimeter offset as well. It starts with 21 millimeter stack height in the heel down to a 16 millimeter stack height in the forefoot. Hoka provided a softer design in the midsole, but it still retains that same Profly technology, which includes a cushioned heel and a nice firm responsive forefoot. The men's version of the shoe weighs in at 7.2 ounces or 204 grams. The women's version weighs 5.8 ounces or 164 grams. The upper is super lightweight and breathable. It has a gusseted tongue that helps prevent tongue migration and provides a nice secure fit. 
Bautzel has strategically placed rubberized foam, which provides durability, a soft feel, and a good amount of responsiveness. Overall, it is a super light, dynamic shoe that can handle faster speeds, but also looks great around town. Let's go try it out. Rob, how do you see yourself using this shoe? I would definitely use this shoe on an up-tempo run or anything that I really need to feel confident in. The hey everyone, Hoka One One Athlete Sage Canada here. I'm joined by 209 marathoner, top American at Boston, Scott Bobble, and today we're gonna talk about the new Bondi 6. Scott, what do you look for in a road shoe? Um, I really like a shoe with a lot of comfort and a lot of cushion and enough stability for those easy miles. Can I check it out? Let's go for a run. Both the men's and women's version of the Hoka Bondi 6 have a 4mm offset. The men's version goes from a 33mm stack height in the heel down to a 29mm stack height in the forefoot. The women's version goes from a 31mm stack height in the heel down to a 27mm stack height in the forefoot. The men's Bondi 6 weighs 10.9 ounces or 310 grams. The women's version weighs 8.6 ounces or 246 grams. The Bondi 6 was one of Hoka's first designs, and it has the most cushion of any road model, as well as the highest stack height. The 6th edition is maximally cushioned and surprisingly lightweight. It's great for those full days on your feet covering long distances. The Bondi 6 is all about comfort, and it starts with the upper. It's made with a lightweight engineered mesh that's more breathable than previous versions. The updated design has a slightly more accommodating fit. The midsole is where the Bondi 6 really shines. Hoka refined the Metarocker geometry in this shoe for an overall smoother ride and plush cushion. The outsole features strategically placed rubber to reduce weight and increase durability. It also features a beveled heel for smoother transitions. The Hoka Bondi 6 is a great option if you're looking for an ultra cushioned, super comfortable shoe. That was a great run, Scott. What do you think about the Bondi 6? Oh, I liked it. Uh, I thought it was had good cushion, it was really plush, uh, really good stability. What did you think about the shoe? It was really comfortable. I felt like it was something you could put long miles in on the roads. Hoka One One Athlete Sage Candidate here. Today we're going to talk about the Elevon from Hoka Fly. I'm lucky enough to be joined by Hoka Athlete Graham Crawford, who runs the 1500 in 337. The Elevon is a premium trainer for a cushioned and responsive ride. The Elevon has an offset of five millimeters in both the men's and women's version. For the men's version, it goes from 32 millimeter stack height in the heel down to 27 millimeter stack height in the forefoot. For the women's version, it's 30 millimeters down to 25 millimeters. The midsole is designed with ProFlight technology, which is softer in the heel for cushioned landing and firmer in the forefoot for a responsive toe off. It has a supportive heel piece which emphasizes the active foot frame, so your foot is embedded in the shoe rather than resting on top. The women's version weighs 8.6 ounces or 245 grams. The men's version weighs in at 10.5 ounces or 297 grams. The upper is made out of engineered mesh for breathability and a lightweight feel. Overall, the Elevon is a great, responsive shoe that gives you a lot of support for those long runs, but it's also very fast. All right, let's go try out the shoe. Graham, how would you describe the feel of the shoe? Lightweight, cushioned, and responsive. I would use the Elevon for longer, more aerobic runs and as an everyday.